Hello and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I am Malwright 208. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> and we are going to a bank. Uh, Kay and Samizat want us to actually check out the uh, Palisade Bank. And she's really loud. Holy cow. Hi. I overheard Julian talking to one of his former co workers. This man installed the security system for the bank and was fired along with Julian. They were planning something. I think they're going to break into the bank. I heard Julian tell this man that he wants the bank Ooh, that's to learn interesting. a lesson in humility. That no one fires the most gifted mechanical engineer in Prague and gets away with it. Yes. Goodbye. It makes it sounds like there's a vulnerability in the bank. All right. Anyway, they want us to uh, come in here and collect yes, dirt since on Pikes. However, this particular building was completed in 2024, Absolutely. and since then has acted as the head office. Everybody's a freaking tour guide. So, hackers are everywhere. Not here. Hello. Exactly. Of course, physical security is also. Let's check out. Speaking of security, let's check out their security. They have a guard stationed here. Camera. Formerly, yes. Uh, what is that? Security supervisor there. Uh, count manager across the way. Corporate vaults are straight ahead. Elevators are ahead. More cameras. The elevators are back here. The elevators are here. They have laser tripwires, so there's no going past that without the camo. Um, this looks like a security station. That's a robot. Can you get confirmation? Two guards, another guard. That's a turret. Only be able to confirm sending out the codes. Doesn't protocol include that each acknowledge camera behind this statue thing, right? In a perfect world, everyone would follow. It's actually a terrible place for a camera. There's a huge blind spot in the middle of it. Uh, we're allowed down here. Nice little water feature. It's a very solid water feature. <laughs> All right. Camera, alarm panel, guards. All automated. They barely felt a twinge during the incident. Just random person talking. Uh, executive saves A and B. Another robot station. This place is pretty decked out, and there's. There's a lot of cameras. Alright, so let's go talk to the guy at the front desk. See if he can uh, give us some information. Hmm. What's that? Level 3 offices. Ashani Talwar CEO. That's where we need to go. Masaki Oshiro CTO. IT services. Yeah, we need to go upstairs. Please see the receptionist. That's what I'm doing. Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services. That man's skin is glowing fantastically. As well as executive safes for smaller accounts. Might need to fix the setting. Exclusivity, anonymity. And security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense. But security is a major concern for your clients. Oh, yes. Everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly, and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Would there be anything else? Your executive safes are available to anyone? Those are the things well, downstairs. Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our saves are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. It is. Mostly they are held by executives from our client companies, but some select individuals have been approved as well. But with the same high security standards, I hope. Oh, of course. And access to the executive safe room is restricted. Clients must use their assigned personalized key cards to gain entry. Okay, so That's to get all. in, we need to steal a key Sounds card. A little simple. 
it's a little bit more involved. The key card also switches off all automated security measures within the vault. Lasers and sentries and the like. All very high tech. Definitely a new key card. The account manager available. I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. Romanek, Romanek. That was the the sign. We saw the sign. We know where his office is. How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big, in fact. We call them container vaults. Like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground. Makes sense. Great security feature. Absolutely. In addition, they are only Unless something by pours a in and require the use of a client's keycard to access. I imagine they have seismic detection stuff, but still. So this is a data haven. Well, we don't use that term here, but yes, we archive highly sensitive materials and documents for some of the most powerful businesses and people in the world. No worries about corporate espionage here. Or government subpoenas. Our international clientele do tend to uh, disagree with the stance of their local governments as it pertains to uh, corporate rights, let's say. So they take advantage of this country's more pro-business legislation? Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, if you were a cynic. I prefer to think that our clients shouldn't have to deal with small-minded anti-capitalist bureaucracies if they can avoid it. Oh, right. Thanks for the information. Because you know business is always out for your best interest. Anyway. Let's see. So, the account manager's office is over here. I don't think... No worries whatsoever. The whole building exudes a sense of... Of as long as they're standing there, I don't think I can hack that, so they'll see me. Let's take a gander in here. So there's a safe in there. An electrochromic glass switch. Alright. We need to charge back up. Alright. Um, let's see. So we're not going to be able to get in here. If we go in there, we're going to triple, tri triple. We're going to trigger an alarm. Um, hello, security guard. Uh, we can't go in here. Executive boardroom. What is this? Wine. We will take the wine. We can sell it. Everyone say hello to the AI. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you. Computer. Pocket secretary. Wow, this table's filthy. The table's filthy. Alright, this was to Ivana Drahos. Ivana, I apologize for not telling you sooner. Yes, the code in my office has changed after the recent unpleasantness with Partos. It is now 0831. Please tell everyone I'm running late because of how hard it is to get getting in and out of the city now that the Rizika station is offline. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, Thomas, this is the account manager. Okay, no more hacking required. We can just walk in. The Antabulous. And the newspaper is not changed. Okay. This is cool. You can see all this stuff here. I know I mentioned it before, but this is like right in the time in the Deus Ex when they started going away from Electrochrome. Oh, that's awesome. I want that glass. <laughs> this is like right the time when uh, they started going to like chemical augmentation and stuff. Right before Nano took over. Follow Bell Tower. Bell Tower suffered catastrophic losses due to the AUG incident. A large percentage of its employees, both soldiers and security personnel, were enhanced with military aid augmentation. Loss of personnel, status, and income. You know what? Why would Bell Tower even send... Oh, the Reifman Bank scandal was public relations nightmare. We... Illegal seizure and wrongful detention of innocent civilians did not sit well in the court of public opinion, and rumors of the 
Atrocities carried out in the South China Sea base, though never substantiated, couldn't be completely suppressed. Many of Beltire's high-profile clients terminated their contracts with the private military company. Their ongoing manpower problem, the scandal making the financial troubles worse and their reputation now in tatters. Bell Tower was in free fall, the writing was on the wall. The giant had fallen. Yeah, we had our, we had our hand in that. Alright, so is there anyone looking this way? That guy right there. Hey, buddy. I just need you to look the other way. If you could do that, that'd be fantastic. I'm just chilling here. It's okay. Let's see. Zero, eight, three, one. <laughs> oh, did I not open it? Alright. We're crouching just so that we don't make a lot of noise. I think there's actually a walk button, but I'm a little too lazy to do that. So much money. What is this? Palisade Elevator Keycard. Papers. Web at. Just more random papers. You know, as much as I'd love to hit a button inside of a uh, bank, it seems like a bad idea. Yeah, you know what? That's. Alright. Oh, there's something over here. Thomas have been reviewing the security gaps created by Bartos and William before we fired them. There's a complete report forthcoming, but the short version is the issues are very serious. This is from Daniel Genesec. Oh, the security guy. As temporary measures, your most sensitive material should be stored in the bank's SDB in room A. The code is 1114. SDB. SDB. What the heck is SDB? But with the United Nations set to debate the Human Restoration Act in a matter of weeks, it's a good doctor. Jensen, you find Fletcher? Haven't made it to Rizika Station yet. What? What are you waiting for? Chang's a former black hat, one of the best around. His hack of the transit lines will work. I'm busy robbing a bank, boss. I'll get right on it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This is only a two. We can do this. Let's see. So we start here with IO port. We need to get to the green. This is going to come in. It will only be able to go this way, and then it's going to split, right? So that's a dead end. So it's going to hit me from here this way. So what we need to do is... We have to go this way so we can fortify, so, like, that. That's gonna... probably gonna detect me, but that's okay. So, it will detect me when I hit the spam. Anomaly detected. Access granted. Awesome. Unlock. Put that away. Executive Locker B keycard. Keycard used to access Executive Locker B within the Palisade Property Bank. Excellent. Excellent. So I'm kind of curious as to what stuff he's got hiding in there. So... We're good. Nobody saw us. We are so good. Yeah, this... What is it? The electrochrom electrochromic glass is pretty awesome. <laughs> that is so sweet! What is this? They have batteries, but we've got this. Shanti. Energy drink. Too heavy. Yeah, stimulants. Woo! Let's 
this trash can. Yeah. And this, this is the area of my people, the air vents. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. Box. <laughs> Giant paint bucket. Oh, you know what? What is that? There's something down there. Oh, that's the, um... Let's put this away real quick. I... I need to see if we can... It's like, like, we toggle the glass here, right? I need to see if we can do that for the security room. So if we did that right, we should be able to take out this guard without anybody seeing us. Alright, so the glass is toggled, so that's good. Unfortunately, the guard looks like he stepped outside. So he doesn't notice that. So what I want to do is when this guy comes back in the room, I'm going to toggle the TV on. Because he's facing in now. There we go. We should go to investigate. <laughs> Suck it. Uh, okay, that worked great. That actually worked a lot better than I expected it would. Okay, software. This poor guy is just out. Check out the pocket secretary. Mueller R at Tarvos Corporation to... No, to Mueller R. Okay. Uh, you're probably wondering why you were locked out of the second floor security room because Monday Barabas had has updated all the set codes for the new weekly rotation. New code is KLMVP9951 at voila. Now you are not locked out of the second floor security room. Have a good week, Ander. Why would you put that in plain text? They call themselves security. All of them occurring after Dr. Tyler <laughs> that amuses me that I can do that. Check that out. That's like right in the back of his neck. That's ooh. Alright, so nothing out of the boxes or anything. Computers off. So just for the record, they are not fair or unbiased. Oh, broke something. Uh, from Dominique Barabas. My IDs. Okay, I've returned to all employee identification codes as requested. Your new code is AKL. AKLVD6681. New ID cards are being created for all employees. Also, track security audit was a success. All systems are functioning at peak. There's been an upsurge in cyber attacks, but nothing has been able to breach the lava wall. I do have a couple suggestions. I would like to discuss with you and Mr. Oshiro when he gets back. All detail of this in my weekly report from Dominic Barabas, IT lead. All right. Underground websites and radio stations continue to praise the I don't know if they're going to hide anything underneath the boxes, but I think it's worth checking. Alright, so let's check this out. This is just the security terminal, right? Yeah, okay, so we can, like, turn the cameras off. Awesome. 
Uh, can't do anything for the robot, I don't have that. We could turn this turret on, friendly fire, that'd be terrifying. They elected a 12 year old to president? That's hilarious. I like that the Collective was at fault for them losing their jobs. Not the companies were doing shady stuff, it's the Collective that did bad stuff. <laughs> See, this is the elevator shaft. Yeah, so it goes all the way down to the first floor, it looks like. I, I live for exploring vents and stuff like this, you'll have to indulge me. Oh, uh, where's this go? That is a dead end, okay. There's coffee cups there. Someone comes here for a break. So is there somebody in there or is that somebody above me? I think they might be above me. Yeah, there is nobody in this room. Taking all the money. Oh, well, that's empty. Right. Anything over here? No. Okay. Funny, these papers look just like the papers in the other office. <laughs> Alright, so it's a mouse. Hey, that's the original Deus Ex logo! That's awesome. Ah, uh, Easter eggs that make the world go round. Why is the head of security's computer unlocked? Uh, from Dominic Barabas to Daniel Janik. We don't have an all clients mailing list. <laughs> uh, something tells me that the IT guy might know more about security than the security guy. <laughs> Radical Alvin? No, Radical Vin? Radic Alvin? I don't know. Radical Vin. Uh, how do you... How can you all sit in your... Okay. To PPP all. Oh, there's no all clients. Okay. To employees, Bartos... Okay, thanks. Sudden, leave, sudden and extended leave of absence. Wish him the best and look forward to his eventual return. Task Executive Services Manager will be handled internally. Stupid phone. Tills replacement can be hired. Details will be forthcoming from your department heads. Alright. And this is like, what, messaging or whatever? Yeah. Hello? Nothing, never mind. Stop pulling that out, that first chance. Holy cow. Take his gun. Take his knives, Rye. Alright. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Can you actually see what we do with these guys? Oh, I can't. It was a one time thing. Oh, well, that's... How about... No. Yep, it was a one-time thing. That's... Unfortunate. Alright, let's get out of here. So, the CEO's office is up. The IT stuff is up. And the security's vaults are down. Um, I think that, um... What's your face? What's their faces? K and company just wanted something from the CI the CEO, not from the actual vaults. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently I didn't need to uh get the key card.
You know, I think I could have made that jump with just the leg augments. Yeah, there's no way I could have made that jump with just the leg augments. Alright, so let's try this again without falling off. Someone somewhere is looking at a security monitor going, what the heck is up with that elevator? <laughs> Alright, so this goes around to a dead end. That's also a dead end, so there's nothing that goes nowhere. Alright, so that guy's in an office by himself. Alright. So he's officially... No one can see in there. Oh, is that the servers? That looks like the servers. I need him to look the other way, or I need something small that I can throw. Oh. Well, probably not. That works. Oh, I can't move it! Oh, <laughs> do I have any Praxis kits? Um, I have zero Praxis kits, fantastic. And what do I need to be able to move heavy stuff? I just need one. Zero Praxis, next Praxis. Oh, I'm not even close. Oh, I think I should probably, uh... A lot of papers back here. The matrices. Alright, that lovely doo-doo in the background was actually my timer. <laughs> also called my phone. Oh! This okay, we're going the wrong way anyway. There's the CEO's office. Okay, that guy just stepped out. He almost looked right at me. Okay, there's a guy over there at the security desk. So apparently there's a guy sitting down, and then there's a guy right over here, right? So what I need to do is I need to take one down and then shoot the other immediately, or I could possibly gas them both. I don't think gas is quick, though. I'm going to check that out. Got your post covered. Totally silent. Nobody heard that. No, no, no. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. You did your best not hearing your friend scream for attention. Thank you. You're the real MVP. Okay. Let's get this guy inside. <laughs> Uh, I love when that stuff works. Take all his stuff. Take all your stuff. Hopefully his gun's not like outside. So there's a camera up there we gotta keep an eye on. Alright. 
pocket secretary. Is that anything? No. A lot of uh, hacking stuff here. Pavel Kamani, just a one. We can do this. So it's right there, right? It's going to come in this way. It'll hit that, and then it'll split. To get me, it's going to have to go either through here or that way. As long as I stay away from the spam, it should be okay. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Yeah, we're good. Access granted. Uh, I'm gonna do for tomorrow. Let's go antiquing. Yeah, let's not. Oh, so there's nothing here. All right. Yeah, I gotta get the thing to move heavy stuff. It's an alarm panel. Alright, so that looks like there's... You know what? You know what? I'm not going to try to sneak up there past the camera. We'll just do this. <laughs> Alright. We have to hack this, though. So, boop, boop, boop. Oh, there's multiple. Access granted. All right, that's... Okay, the door's open. It's panning back, so whenever it comes back, we'll uh, go in again. There we go. This episode's running a little long. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Pain killers, I will take them. Recycling bin, studio. Shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Drinking water analysis results. Recent investigation confirms that last week's chemical spill has in fact gotten to the city's water supply. You know what? I bet they want that. Do not use the city's water to supply to drink, bathe, wash your dishes, etc. until further notice. Please do not distribute test distribute publicly. Oops. Oh, we got Ghost and Smooth Operator. Fantastic. So this is a security terminal that has no rating whatsoever. But you gotta go all the way around. It's unfortunate. Anomaly detected. Access granted. Yeah, you know, this... This bank has terrible security. I mean, absolutely. Terrible security. <laughs> Alright, tell you what. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end this episode here, and I'll see y'all next time. We have a little bit more exploring to do in here, I think. Ooh, there's a vent. Uh, a little bit more exploring to do. Plus, I want to uh, see if we can find anything in the vaults or anything, because I think that'd be pretty neat. Anyway, I will uh, see you then.